our next reader is also known as the ghost of the writing center. He is from Beacon Hill, Texas. He, su he has super great people skills. Uh, and he thinks we should scrap current US immigration policy and replace it with Beyonce's Halo. Welcome to the stage, first year nonfiction MFA, Spencer. <laughs> I, uh, I wrote this piece a few weeks ago, and um, I gave it to someone, and um, while she uh, very graciously and understandably uh, declined my request, uh, she did say that I could read it publicly, so uh, here we are. Uh, title of this piece, is this a good pickup line? Question mark. <laughs> Ever since you asked me last Friday night about a good pickup line, and I said I honestly couldn't think of one, I've thought more about it and come up with the following. You're an intelligent, attractive person, and I want to get to know you better, and... This is where my overanalytical awkwardness attempts to work its way into what should be a very simple gesture, that of asking someone, i.e. you, out on a date, which, if I understand the pickup line genre correctly, doesn't at all correspond with the stereotypical purpose of the pickup line author, which is to pose some tawdry rhetorical interrogative, quickly followed up with a pseudo-clever quip, in the hopes that the audience, a stranger the author has known for maybe the entirety of five to ten very awkward seconds and counting, will engage in a conversation that will conclude with said audience allowing said author to fuck them later on in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> or in the car, or in the bathroom stall, or hell, maybe even inside the bar. An event that actually almost happened uh, at the Fado Irish pub I used to work at in Austin. Except the bartender caught them and kicked them out before their sloppy, drunken cunnilingus progressed to full-on fucking in front of God and everyone and the U2 tribute band, Mysterious Ways. Well, big fun, it dies it out. And you give, and you give, and you give yourself away. Although, I also realize I could be negatively misinterpreting the pickup line genre based on a very specific context since I am fully inexperienced when it comes to authoring or using or receiving a pickup line and I'm overlooking the more potentially positive intention behind the pickup line, which is to display one's wit in such a way that it will attract genuine interest. Similar to how a male satin bower bird collects bright blue bottle caps and artfully arranges them in such a way that they attract the attention of a female satin bower bird. Except we're humans, not birds. And while I am looking to attract someone, i.e. you, I'm also scared of asking you out on a date, because I haven't been on a date in seven years since before I was married, and furthermore, I'm afraid that I'm too old or too awkward or too fucked up for my ex to be a positive presence romantically in someone's life, and that the act of even asking would be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, I am going to ask, because despite any awkwardness, I finally feel emotionally done with my last relationship, such that I want to start slowly opening up to the possibility that all of my self-imposed judgments, assumptions, and fears about love, and dating, and authentic human interaction are wrong, and that I won't truly know until I actually attempt it again. And based on what you've said about your lackluster experiences of online dating, I want to do it face to face. And I know I should replace my previous usage of the phrase, do it with date, but I'm not going to because I'm tired of making all these self-imposed rules and standards and restrictions that keep me from finding out just by talking and asking and listening to someone face to face, one on one, whether or not I'm compatible with someone else. And if there's one thing I know about you and the few short interactions we've had with one another is if you consider this pickup line inappropriate or whenever, for whatever reason, you're not interested, you'll just bluntly tell me. Same as you told me last Friday night, my level of caffeine consumption is unhealthy. And <laughs> speaking of which, I've been wondering if you'd like to go on a coffee date with me some night this week, ever since you asked me last Friday night about a good pickup line, and I said I honestly couldn't think of one. Thank you. <laughs> 